There you go. Yeah, and feel it right up here. Yeah, exactly. And here. And you know, it's really interesting. What I found is that people that have tension here mm -hmm. tend to have tension here. And the two are related. Yeah. So you know, the horse is shaped like this. You want your leg to fall like this. And people either pinch at the knee where they go in and then out, mm -hmm. or they're kind of tight at the top and tight at the bottom. Ah, okay. And so you're. I don't. I know. feel it. I feel it back in here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was just saying, you know, you do a lot of those kind of stretches Stretching. where you stretch, you know, these muscles here and the hamstrings back here, and that will allow your leg to drape more in a more relaxed way. But for some reason, when you have tension up here, it, it correlates to tension mm -hmm. down here as well. So you just want to think about loose, relaxed, and then the knee can just kind of gap like that. Good. It's kind of being the exactly. exactly. Very good. Okay, and then body. What I was seeing this morning was um, you're tending to come a little too far back here. Mm -hmm. So you want to bring this, keep this slightly in front of the hip. And then a little bit more tuck from the, not quite that, not, you're using upper abs, you're strong up here. Mm -hmm. Think a little bit more like down here. And then lift. There you go. That's it. But without right, keep the small my back you hollowing. You don't want to hollow. Right. So I want this up here, uh -huh. and, and then I, it's funny, there's like all these different sections of muscle, like when I'm loose here, a little bit tighter here, and then loose up here. Sometimes you carry a lot of tension up in here, uh -huh. and the shoulders look real tight. Uh -huh. So what I was saying earlier about, you know, relax the shoulders, it's like the loose side. Yeah, exactly. And I think by correcting the elbow position, that'll help your shoulders. That'll help too. Yeah, exactly there. So I think what you're doing is you're compensating for a lack of strength here, mm -hmm. right here under your belt buckle, with a little bit too much um, pulling like back here in between your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. So you think of it on the diagonal, it's like the more this tightens, the more this loosens. Think of pulling your hips going forward a little bit and then lifting up. Now, 
like what crept back in. Sandy's half halt, very well done. Yes. Oh! <laughs> to a full halt. It can be quick. It doesn't have to be this right. long, drawn out, deliberate, right. really strong. Try to get even, even a little bit lighter than the last one. Just, just deepen and then just real quick, just kind of drop it. And, there you go. See how easy that was? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> wow. It doesn't take so doesn't much. Take so much. I always want to do so, so much. much. Right, right. And that's, sometimes your horse takes more, yeah. but that's, yeah. you know, we want to. Yeah. You want them to be as light as Lulu. Yeah, that's right. There exactly. You go. If only they all were. Oh gosh. Like her. Yeah. 